the dynamics at the lower levels, I don't want to call them the microscopic, the more comprehensive theories, are autonomous. So there is some answer to the question. If you take every atom that makes up a person and reconstitute in exactly the same version somewhere else, what will happen? And that answer is unique if you believe the laws of atomic physics. And therefore, either the higher level is entailed or the laws of atomic physics are wrong. Those are your only two choices. No, it's there's, possible. A, there's a relation that hasn't been discussed yet, or if it has, I've missed it. I expect that most of us think that we don't know that there aren't alternative life chemistries. So now, a really interesting question is, if we went to another planet in another galaxy and found life forms with a different chemistry, would we expect, nevertheless, that their economics would be the same, <laughs> and that their psychology would be the same. The question's well That's right. the question about, about whether the special sciences have generalizations which are not... Generalized see, the, the model we've been working with is a sort of uh, entailment of, of the chemistry by the physics and the biology by the chemistry and then on <laughs> up to the poetry. That's a sort of very simplistic idea of, of naturalism. And there's this other possibility that you can get, depending on initial conditions, basically, or local conditions, you can get divergent mid-level theories. So this, this brings up, I think, something that we have not distinguished well. And that is, as I listen to physicists or people talking from a physics point of view, I have a conception of emergence uh, or non-emergence that is synchronic. That is, oh, this is the way the world is, and there's the small parts and the big parts, and they're all linked together. Um, the term emergence, uh, I think, implicitly is about time, uh, and where history matters. Certainly in biology, history matters. Uh, biology is about the accumulation of constraints and differences, and accidents, for that matter, uh, and how the accidents change the conditions for the future. Uh, history matters in that sense. I, one of the problems I have is I don't. I don't actually think that a concept of emergence makes a lot of interesting sense synchronically. I do think it makes a lot of sense diachronically, across time, as things change. When we say something is new, I'm not talking about something is new up at a higher level versus a low level. It wasn't here before. Why wasn't it here before? Why wasn't it expressed in the preconditions? Why is it expressed in the postconditions? So I don't actually... Everything I've heard does not bother me because I don't see any incompatibility between, you know, the fundamental laws of physics. And where does that lead us in terms of new laws? No, I don't think, so I want to say I don't think the idea of new universal laws is the right way to think about it. Um, I think new historical conditions are the ways to think about it. I think that new complexes of constraints so that the laws aren't expressed the same way on the planet Earth as they are on the, pla on the planet Mars. Yeah. Um, I think that's what's different, and that's why we have the kinds of differences we have here. I think that's a historical contingency issue. But that suggests that the laws of economics, let's say, are nothing new there. They're everywhere. They're, but some planets, yeah. there, there's never any instantiation, and others, it comes along here and it comes along there. And that gets back to my question of couldn't it be the case that on one planet, uh, from a historical accident, they went through a carbon-based life form. Then they went through a sort of singularity <coughs> thing, and they made they made a, a silicon electronic robotics uh, agents that were first their their avatars, their surrogates. And then the carbon-based life dies out, and you got you come to the planet, and it's all silicon-based forms re replicating and so forth, and the economics holds. I mean, law of supply and demand still holds. Uh, and now that suggests that the laws of economics really aren't <coughs> dependent on being walked up through chemistry. And, I mean, this, historically they're walked up through, but, but if, if, they're going to, if they're going to turn out to be uh, applicable independently of the chemistry of the life forms,